I have no idea for an intro, so I'm just gonna pop right in. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the show. And I hope everybody is having a very decent day. I am having a uh, eh, sleepy one. Sleepy Sunday. Something like that. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. Yeah. I was thinking about starting up the uh, the stream with "Don't stop believing," but I'm just like, eh, I'm not in the mood. Welcome to the amazing digital circus. <laughs> oh yeah, looking forward to that. That's exciting. That would have been amazing. Well, <laughs> the time has passed. <laughs> and now intro is now over and I am here so yes uh, we're going to be doing some slime rancher type of things and just chilling out and uh, hanging out in the chat before I dive into uh, any of that sort though uh, I'm just going to give a little bit of a reminder and I will be doing this a little bit um, later today as well uh, give me a second I have to just find it on the desktop because my uh, my desktop for my stream PC is a mess and a half covered with like random pictures that I have just peppered throughout the entirety of this place so, yeah, hold up. Okay, there we go. So, just as a reminder that there is um, an event that is going to be going on next Tuesday, and that's going to be happening at 7 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 6 o'clock Central Time. So, about like one hour earlier than these streams usually start. Uh, yeah, I am going to be on a thing called Voice Acting Tune-Up, and that is being hosted by Raccoon Tune um, up there in the corner there. And uh, he's bringing in a whole bunch of different VTubers. Uh, so, you know, the, there's going to be me over there. And then we've got uh, Midna, uh, who is a uh, more of a Christian sort of VTuber. I think it's Christian. Fairly certain. Don't think it was Catholic. I, I, I checked at one point. Uh, and then we've got uh, Raccoon's pal Archie, which is going to be there, who um, sounds interestingly like a, uh, a, you know, a VO. I don't know. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, Jan uh, Aponte Movio. <laughs> Sounds a heck of a lot like him somehow. And then uh, Takahata101, which you might know him from a couple of different uh, voice-related things, like doing voices for many Team Four Star things, and um, as well as also being a uh, bartender and owner of the Weary101, which is a uh, VTuber bar. So if you are interested in uh, hopping out and watching it, uh, I think it will be fun. Now, what's interesting about it is that it's um, what it basically is, is it's a uh, live voice direction being done by Raccoon Toon, um, who is actually, uh, he does um, voice direction in, uh, you know, ma major productions, which I think is really fun, really cool. Uh, and he's uh, he's doing this more or less with a bunch of VTuber personalities. So um, that should be interesting. Now, hopefully, hopefully I have enough talent underneath my bones that I can more or less give him a pretty decent performance real nervous about it i don't know um i've been looking into some of the uh the parts that he has given me <laughs> just to see like hmm, okay what kind of voices is he expecting me to do um for the most part i think he's got my archetype pretty well <laughs> pretty nailed down he's, he probably checked like uh you know my my voice reel <laughs> and it was just like ah yes these would be perfect for him hopefully hopefully i actually found one thing out um i think uh one do it with the mustache um, on there above my uh, above my head. Here, I gotta say that that character right there. Um, I, I looked into it and I found out that I believe that character. Um, I think he's voiced in a lot of other things, including uh, he was actually a voice as one of the characters in Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. I did not know. <laughs> that was so freaking cool to find out. Um, I, th I think he's like uh, Walsh, if I remember right, or he's like the um, the captain of the Walsh. I don't remember his exact name, but it's just like wow! <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing! God, the, the world is so freaking small. And anyway, speaking of small, let me shrink this down here. Wing, wing. But anyways, yes. Um, if this goes well, maybe it'll be a recurring thing uh, with Raccoon, and I think that'd be super cool. I would love it if he, like, brought more people on later on down the line to, like, you know, try their own chops at voice acting and just, uh, you know, give give people the uh, experience. I think that'd be fun. 
but I am just looking forward to um, you know being a part of the uh, a part of the the, the entire event essentially. Mm -mm. So that should be exciting. For now, let's go ahead and uh, hop on into the Discord call here. Oh, I don't have too much to talk about here aside from that. I'm I'm just like really excited about that. There we go. Hopefully, uh, all of the settings should be proper and not, like, overblown or awful sounding. Yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go ahead. I have not actually opened up uh, the game yet, so I should go do that. There we go. Also, let me adjust my windows here. I believe I can fly, jumps out window. Please don't do. <laughs> don't do that. That's terrible for your health. Terrible for your spine. There we, we are returning to Steve Farm, and I believe we're getting real close to uh, the winter season in this game. So, um, yeah, that's going to end up bleeding me pretty heavily on funds uh so i'm gonna have to survive through the uh the entirety of that oh boy i believe i have um i've set up provision so that i have i can at least save all of the hay that uh we have accumulated over the course of this time time period yeah. starting the desktop audio so you can hear things you forgot I ate your old moldy cheese. Ah, yes, the moldy cheese. I didn't know it was my old cheese. Had to deal with some real jerks today, joking about... Um, oh, yeah, no, that's not a joke. <laughs> not a joke whatsoever. Yep, reprimand. Nope, oh, sounds good to me. There we go. Head on over to the game tab. Hey, hey. Okie smokey. I'm going to move these headphones here. I move the keyboard a little bit closer. So what's my luck look like today? Weather report. Why does it have to rain tomorrow and not today? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Got sprinklers. How are the crops? I believe... Yeah, okay. Ordered too much fertilizer. Well, thank you for the random box. Oh, hey. Oh, it's Wednesday, so I'm not going to be able to, like... Oh, shoot. Okay. I wonder if I've got some mixed seeds. How long does it take for mixed seeds to grow? Shoot. Also... These pumpkins can become Gordo Pumpkin any time now. Big bada pumpka boom. Please do it. <laughs> I want it bad. Okay. I will eat your entire farm. Uh, that's the entire point. Hopefully you actually pay for it, though. Banned straight up. Yep. Yeah. I don't, I don't make jokes. I personally don't make jokes about that. So, um, definitely think it's a good move to, uh, you know, kick that to the curb. Especially set an example. Just be like, mm-mm, nope. You ain't playing that game with us. Stop it. I'll set this in here with, uh, the other fertilizers. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. It consume. Today was tasking, but I helped another trial mod make their first interaction. Wait, infraction message rather. Temporary ban. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, what else is going on out here? Oh yeah, right. I was very desperately hoping that maybe these would spawn before the end of the season, because it would be really nice to have like a row of you know two, four, six of like each type of tree. It's just like that the, the symmetry is looking great. Please grow. I don't know how long it takes to grow trees. Hey, mushrooms. There we go. Also, a little bit of information about, like, you know, my, my current setup and whatnot. I wasn't entirely sure how we were going to be doing this whole, like, you know, VTuber sharing screens kind of thing. But it does look like that you are going to be able to um, see my avatar doing all of the moving things and whatnot. Uh, but the thing is... This is going to be a, uh, you know, the, th this is going to be based around 
doing voiceover and uh, all that jazz. So for me, that means that I definitely would like to have a good mic for uh, this little setup that we're going to be doing. Uh, which means that I will likely be coming up with a way to move the stream setup that I have for, you know, the camera, the hand tracker, and all that jazz over to the vocal booth, which is not easy. <laughs> I think it's going to require me to find either some really long cables or I'm going to have to move a PC. And these things are hulking beasts. So that might be a little bit tough. However, for the quality of the performance and also for the production, we're willing to do it. Hello, Pink. I hope you're having a good day. So nervous, but I gave them a lot of help, even giving them my old uh, temp band message so that they can make their own. Hey. Very nice. I think for me, I, I kind of standardized the um, the messages that uh, I have us, like, you know, well, okay. Funny enough, I don't know if I have, like, I don't have that standardized just yet. Hmm. I probably should. I should probably, like, I have a set of standardized messages that I leave in the event that I do need to ban somebody. Um, you definitely say I should share those. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad Discord owner. <laughs> Just leaving everybody to like you know, fend for themselves. Ah, uh, okay, I, I joke. Uh, it's it, it. We do like you know, convene and talk. We talked about that previously. Like we do convene and we do have conversation. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I'm trying to remember what the next thing I should do is. Mm. Just had to celebrate my mom's birthday late. Oh, okay. On a Discord server that has um, 3,000 people in it. That's freaking terrifying. Whenever I hear, like, you know, numbers up to that point, I'm just like, oh, dear God. <laughs> the amount of potential failure. That's scary. I mean, there's a lot of responsibility with that. Like, that is that is a very, like... It's a very quantifiable number, you know what I mean? Only had to ban one person ever. Well, that's lucky. All right. I am going to run a risk here. Because I think we only have four or five days left to be able to uh, plant anything out in these fields, so... I'm going to plant stuff there. <laughs> Whether or not that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Crisp fall leaves. We have standard ones too. Um, but we can add our own bits and uh, bobs to it. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, okay. That basically settles it in my head. I really should talk with my moderator team and be like, I... In case you need, like, you know, a standardized set of reasons for why you're banning someone, here you go. Pin comment. It wouldn't take me that much time. <laughs> I have all of the, uh, I have all of them on a notepad document. Oh, man. I need to get better at that. I mean, I have been, I have been. Like, whenever there's any sort of a weird concern or a thing that I think is a little bit of an issue, I have been getting better at uh, sharing these issues and letting people know, like, you know, moderator-wise. It's so tough because I've been running the show for... Well, not just this show, but, like, you know, the area over on the Discord for a really long time. And it's it's kind of odd to get yourself into that headspace of, no, you're not alone, dude. <laughs> you don't have to make decisions on your own. In fact, you probably shouldn't. It is to your benefit to go and, like, you know, ask questions and be like, hey, guys, what do you think about this? It's been oddly refreshing. Make a Google Doc. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Well, I mean, a Google Doc would have to make it so that we would have to, like, do it off-platform. Like I said, I actually think it'd probably be a little bit more helpful. Well, would it be? I don't know. I, I think it would be possible to just, like, you know, make a, uh, a, a Discord, like chat menu and then um, have like pinned comments just so that they're easily ex yeah, accessible. We already have like something similar to that. We just have to freaking add on to it. Nova says I think I have COVID. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Shoot. 
I know that there's um, a lot of people around my area that are currently falling ill to um, some sort of, like, a flu, which is real creepy. I know that my mom and dad have had it, like, on and off here. First, my dad was just like, ew, I feel terrible. This is disgusting. Ugh, God. Please, no. I, I want sleep and I want pain pills, please. And now my mom is just like, okay, nope, not getting up. No, bed is too comfy. Good, to, goodbye. Cannot sleep, but bed is comfy. Screw you. <laughs> we have a whole dock for it. That is very official. Good on you. Okay. Oh, you know what? I just had a thought. It's 140. I don't remember how strong the axe needs to be in order for me to get through it, but I should probably upgrade the axe. I have the money for it. And I know that I am going to, uh, I'm a need to use that axe a little bit later, anytime, you know, sometime soon. So how much copper do I have? Ah, perfect. That's the right amount. I like it. Question. Okay. How much, uh... Ew. <laughs> this thing's getting kind of full. Uh, that's fine. Kirby versus Stardew Valley. I think Kirby would help out with the, with the crops. This, this, see, here's the thing. This game is, like, super wholesome. So, I get the mentality that, like, Kirby probably wouldn't fight Stardew Valley. That doesn't really make much sense. I think Kirby would just be cool with just, you know, hanging out and helping out with farming. And eating plenty of his share. Oh, it's George's birthday! <laughs> Dang it! Oh, also, what did I just agree to? Ah. Fire quartz above the mantle. I could do that! Ah, uh, okay. Uh, wait, no. Before, I, I, I think I can go to the house a little bit later. Right now, I gotta go out blacksmith. I'm losing my mind? Hey, Karen. Ah! And also, Voiceless is here. Or, or you know, Bunny. How you doing? Howdy. So nice to live. Hi! I'm losing my mind? Clint! Hey, buddy boy. I need to upgrade a thing. Thank you. It might be an unlucky day, but uh, that doesn't mean that I can't, like, play some... You know, with some non-RNG related things. Okay, so. Sebastian. God, I don't know if I'm friends enough with him that I'll be able to easily get access to him. Kind of a recluse. <laughs> Plan for uni? Can't believe I'm graduating next year. Amazing. I hope you do well in university. There we go. All right, so fire quartz. I'm sure I've got that. Yes. And then... Right. Yes. I'm prepared for this. Oh, I've only... Oh, i got several leagues. Never mind. I know what George likes. <laughs> I specifically remember this one just because it's so freaking goofy. I'm also going on tour for uni in May. Oh, heck yes. I remember my school did that, um, where they're like, hey, uh, what's, you know, there, you, you might want to go to a specific type of profession. Well, here you go. Here's the many different options and availabilities. Happy birthday to George. He really likes leaks. I have no idea why. Okay. As for Sebastian, no clue if I'm going to uh, be able to even run into him. I might. Oh, he, hey, he is actually out and about. He's going and grabbing snacks before you go back into your den. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. Hey. Good day. Lovely day. Uh, still need to give a pumpkin over, but I'm currently, like, you know, 
guarding those with my heart because I am waiting for the pumpkins to finally sprout into like a full range of them. If I don't chat as much on the stream, it's because I'm in the dark just because every... Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Let's see, everybody's got their pumpkins out. Ah, it's getting dark. Here, let me grab a drink real quick. I had a recording session today. Ooh, nice. I've not any had any like hardcore, re you know, voice recording session of any kind as of recently. That's so why it should be interesting to do this whole, uh, you know, ra raccoons like, yeah, you know, vo voiceover tune up thing. Because it's just like, oh god, I feel like I am going to be absolutely rusty. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if it works out. Hey, bud. Water. Okay. He's dark. Using chopsticks uh, has... Wait, is challenging? Chopsticks on... Oh, you mean just like chopsticks in general? I have attempted to use chopsticks before. On a couple of occasions. I've been mocked to hell and back because I was, uh... The bookseller is in town today. Who's the bookseller? Anyway, I was, I was mocked to hell and back because of the fact that I was, like, terrible at using chopsticks. Figured I'd give you this recipe. And he gave me a recipe for fried eel. Thanks, buddy. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot more days in the season. So we're gonna have to figure out something else to plant in these plots, I think. Okay. Well, we can figure that out. All right. I don't remember how much, um, you know, how much of everything I have collected so far. Here, drop these off. Um, how many yams, realistically, am I going to need? How many of these do I need to keep, realistically? What the hell? All right. Okay, it takes four days to grow wheat. Uh, I think that might be enough. Hmm. It takes four days to grow these as well. I mean, heck, I might just go ahead and use the... Um, <laughs> I, I might just do that. Sounds like a plan, honestly. Here, let me take all these flowers out here and only select some of the best. Just so I'm not, like, inundating the thing with, like, tons of flowers. There we go. Oh, I got, like, two of these. Shoot. Dang it! <laughs> I got too many crops for one chest. Mm. I, I think over time, you start to learn a couple of different uh, techniques that you can use to, you know, not hurt your voice. There we go. Game looks so cute and cozy. It is relaxing as heck, man. It is so fun. Those flowers are suddenly pretty. They're very cute. Oh, hello, Silver. How you doing? I think that'll about... Well, all right. How much more... Right. Let's... I don't need to keep that many of uh, the freaking blackberries in here. Um, also, you know, I got five of these wild... Pl I can just take those. It's fine. I don't need a ton of wild plums. Um, I think that'll do. Undertale, uh, what do you... Okay. What do you do, pacifist or genocide? I, I'm too much of a wuss. <laughs> I, I can't do genocide. I, I just, I don't like it. Well, if you've played the game through, like, you know, true pacifist mode... Or at least, like, in, in my case, I've played through uh, true pacifist mode. I can't do it after that. Like, I have, I've seen it. I've seen how it goes. I know how it works. I just, I... <laughs> no. I can't do the thing.
Have I streamed Undertale? No, uh, Undertale came out before I started doing live stream related stuff. What? The, boy, Sebastian really badly wants people to get stuff for him. And also, what are you doing with the fire quartz and the sardine? What? <laughs> Sebastian? Do we need to have a chat? What are you doing? Do the Sans boss fight. I don't wanna. I don't wanna fight Funny Bone Man. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have a bad Tim. Um. Right. So do I have? Okay, hold on. This is the fish chest. Sardine. I do have sardine. Oh, also, what I, I didn't check this. What was my luck today? Uh, weather report is going to be fine. Hi, kitty. Fortune teller. Okay. Um, don't do RNG-related stuff. Also, I just noticed. Sweet gem berry is done. Hey, yo. I'm putting that in there. Hmm. Yep, nope, kill it. Oh, you know, the unfortunate thing when it comes to, um, you know, moderating and Discord and whatnot, who wants to bet the person that is, uh, you know, not being appropriate? There's a very high chance that they're probably just, like, you know, 10 or 12. <laughs> and, like, you know, you're you, technically you are supposed to be 13 and over on Discord. That's actually, like, in the rules. What's today's rant? <laughs> I'm trying not to. Uh, I don't know. Whatever rant is going to happen, it'll, it'll just come in, like, nice and gently. Or it'll hit us like a freight train out of nowhere. We'll see. Um. Anyway. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, right. I mean, like, who wants to bet that it's probably, like, a 10-year-old or something? Which, again, <laughs> you aren't actually supposed to be on Discord if you are under the age of 13. Um, that's one of the uh, that's one of the main rules when it comes to uh, my server. I, I don't outright actively say it. Uh, and I also, like, I don't require people uh, to give me their um, their age because, you know, confidentiality. I don't, I don't want people to be giving too much information about themselves. But if, um, if my team, like, gets the suspicion or the idea that you are probably under the age of 13, we do ban you. You know, like, that, that's just kind of the, the breaks. I have arisen from the dust. Hello, Mark. How you doing? Also, I believe I just got an upgrade to foraging. Oh, right. I should go and, um... Where is that balloon? Wasn't that, um... I think... I think it's, like, in town. If I remember right. Osgood here. Welcome to the laptop, bit. Hello, I'm on Bunny's laptop. It's too cramped in here. Rant, 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 rant. Last night I dreamt that my left hand had turned into a gigantic crisp. Crisp? Are you British? <laughs> the frick? Say chips like a true American, you heathen. Howdy, hey, bookstore. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, right. Okay, so let's see. What what do these things do? Okay, uh, this is literally all foraging experience and stuff. You can now see the value of my items. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I guess I could see, like, uh, maybe. If I needed to, like... Uh, if I was a real min-maxer, I could see the benefit of that. But, like, whatever. I mean, heck... Sometimes it's a fun little surprise to, like, you know, collect a whole bunch of vegetables and then throw it in the bin and then wait for that number to go burr. You know? that That's my serotonin in this game. I don't, I don't need to know the number right away. You're getting a signed Fan Tokyo and Mr. Puzzle stuffed animal. Hey, nice. Foraging. You will now run a lot faster through grass and crops. 
Really? That's kind of nice. Okay. Oh, slither legs. I'm not going to spend money on it, but horse, the book. Gain a little extra speed when riding horse. You run a little bit faster. Oh! Yo, that's actually kind of cool. Holy crap. Mining experience, fishing experience. D that's all well and good, but I don't have a massive budget at the moment. <laughs> And the money that I currently have, I'm planning on, like, putting towards next year's crops. So, I think for my own benefit and making sure that I don't, like, ruin myself, I'm, I'm not going to buy random books. Is good. Anyway, Sebastian Awake, I have a fish letting to throw at his face. You know who my other idol is? Hatsune Miku! I Okay, it's 12 o'clock. Wakey, wakey, bacon and eggs. Damn it! Let me in! Also, I have a good... Hey! I want to be a part of the party! <laughs> you guys are hanging out without me! I guess I'm not really a friend of theirs, so... You know. Shush up, Nova. <laughs> Idle is a very strong word, so... Just keep that in mind. I have some exciting news. I'm Greg. <laughs> I don't... I don't forget. Uh, my brain. It works in mysterious ways. <clears throat> Stable for two months. Hey, that's good. Mm. Oh, hello. <laughs> I cra uh, good. Crap a lot of clay and dirt. That's good to have. Boxes are currently priming for things. So let me think if there's anything else that's currently going on in the uh, the wide world of either bit or otherwise. Mm-mm, tasty clay. Should I return to Fantokyo or should I stay as conductor? I mean, that's up to you. I like them both. They're terrifying gremlins, but, uh, you know. That want to slice off your skin. I hear Octodad music. Yep. And now it is uh, Mafia HQ. Ah, Octodad was an amazing game. It was so fun. It was so goofy. Yeah, why not both? <laughs> yeah, somehow, like, I don't know, a picture of both of them. Actually, make, make an OC that is a combination of both. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> Howdy, sir. You want something from me? No, yeah, just hanging out. <laughs> just saying hello. I'm not trying to evict you or anything. Fish! I must become friends with the emo man. Fan Tokyo versus Conductor. Ooh, that's a hard one. I feel like they'd be kind of, in, you know, e equally matched. Do you think the strings would be easy to cut if the Conductor used the um, the knives and the buzz saws? If that's the case, Conductor, conductor might have a, an edge up on that one. Because he's kind of like, he's a Pinocchio type character. And con again, Conductor has buzz saws. I struggled so much on the last part in the kitchen when I was a lot younger. That was an interesting game, man. Octo Dad. Oh, the other, um, not too long ago, I think they were celebrating uh, Octo Dad's anniversary, and they announced that like they were releasing um, vinyl records of the soundtrack. And good God Almighty, there was so m there was so much in me that badly wanted to pick that up. But I had to, like, I had to hold my hand down and, like, just be like, nope. 
No! You don't need to be spending that money right now. You're not gonna use it, okay? You know how this is gonna work. You're gonna buy the vinyl, and then it's just gonna be sitting in your closet for years, and it's not gonna do anything. Oh yeah, it's a collector's item. Whatever. You have other things to pay for right now. Let's see here. Oh god. I, I feel like a few of these seeds are not going to finish up. Ah, uh, that being said, I mean, I think that was just the mixed seeds, so it's not like, you know, no harm done, I guess. Technically, the strings are kind of like illusions. Okay. Well, Fantokio is still made of wood, so I would say that the fuzz, the buzz saws are still a little bit dangerous, I think. Here, let me swap my inventory around a little bit. Um, 6, 10 p.m. Wow, all right, so the day is basically done at this point. I don't really have anything else to do. Do I get a notification telling me that my pickaxe is done? I don't remember. Boo! Light is here. Hello! Oh, hey, look, there's a cake. Right, I don't have much else that I can do, so I'm going to go ahead and... His weakness is termites and sensory overload. Hmm. Well, Conductor's good at sensory overload. <laughs> oh, shoot! Level... Yes, thank you! Oh, good God. It's too bad that we're, like, you know, we're leaving the lightning season. <laughs> Finished watching Ghost Adventures. Hmm. And how did that go? I don't know what Ghost Adventures is. Copper Axe is ready. Woo! -hoo! Clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect for the event. <gasps> it... ah. Why do I have... Do, do I have any um, anything to break? No. No, I don't think so. Shoot. Aw, look at that. <laughs> it's a Judy mode. Someone got possessed. Oh, crazy. Again, Fantokio is a wood puppet, and Conductor has... T he has saw blades. I feel that would be very, very dangerous for a wooden puppet. I don't think I need to explain myself that much. Kind of sounds self-explanatory in my head. Um... Like, do I need to go into the grisly detail and be like, yes, he will cut off his limbs one by one? No. I think we get it. Here, let us fire up a couple of these. I refuse to believe that the conductor is an owl. <laughs> Understandable. Oh my god, wait. Spirits Eve is tomorrow? I think I have less time than I thought I did. Ugh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and cross our fingers that, like, this is the, basically, this is the last day that those pumpkins can potentially sprout. Um, oh, all right. New ideas to sleep on. Thank you. Ah, look at all the crops coming in. Look how nice that is. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think that is everything that needs to be collected. And I got a lot of stuff. Fantokio can fly. And Conductor can throw saw blades. <laughs> uh, alright. Where do I... Drop that off. We only need to keep like five of those. There we go. That's fine. I think I can make a little bit of room with the eggplants. Ah! Oh, 
Actually, wait, the grapes. Yeah, I keep them in here. In fact, I can take a little bit more. Um, the amaranth. Yeah, it's fine. Honestly, I could probably just, like, I could sell a lot of that stuff. Fantokia can also teleport. Can't Conductor too? What? <laughs> That's not a good argument. I think both of them can. Yeah, Conductor can also fly, kinda, in the boss battle when he jumps up uh, for the disco ball. I mean, I would say that's more, you know, he's got a lot of dexterity and can jump very high. I don't necessarily know. And also, like, you know, him diving down at you. That's not really flying. That's falling with style. <laughs> so, I, I mean, he's technically a bird. So, I would say, let's, let's extrapolate that and say that in the event he wanted to fly, probably could. In, in, in theory. We don't really know for sure, though. Oh, okay, we got two more days to go. Goody. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's go pick up that axe. Fantokia has a shark. Mm. Trying to think of a good counter argument on that one. I mean, I'm sure Conductor probably has something on his movie set that would be, like, terrifying. Like, just as terrifying as a shark. And my axe! Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. I don't know if a copper axe is good enough for what I need it to do, though, so I might want to just go ahead and, like, give it one more upgrade. Just one more upgrade. The disco balls? You know, it's fun. <laughs> it is weird that, like... I know that the, the boss fight for the conductor in DJ Grooves, it's supposed to be, like, swappable. But that just makes me more confused because, like, the conductor uses disco balls. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna be too much of a jerk. I know that, like, game coding and making is not easy, okay? You know, I'm not expecting the world out of these people. However... I do still think it's weird that, like, they, they've they repurposed the, um... They, they, you know, they, they repurposed the, uh, the disco ball for both of the fights. Maybe he stole them? Okay, well then, in, you know, in reference to that, I think there were some other things in that fight that they stole as well. Like the, like the cars. <laughs> that wasn't on his set. What is this battle between Conductor and Fantokio? Oh, we're just... It's a what-if scenario. You know, what if they fought? Conductor has a bomb. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's a bomb that, like, you know, it takes forever to finally, like, actually light and set off. Pile this on. I see that I have upgraded the copper, you know, the, the pickaxe thing, so... Um... Let me think. Do I have a, a log on my on my property that I could test this on? I think I can. Yes. Let's try this. Son of a beach. Well, okay, that's my answer for me. Do 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 do. After Fende okay, after this Fantokia conductor, next up is Barnaby and Snatcher because I said so. That's a big fat question mark for me. Uh, I know all of the benefits to Snatcher in that like he's basically invulnerable unless he's blue. Um, steal souls and things like that. But the problem is I don't know nearly enough about Barnaby from like a, an attack uh, standpoint. And also, I think it will be spoilers if you guys said anything related to his attacks. Because I have not seen much of the fight. <laughs> I'm warning you guys in advance. <clears throat> and I'm trying to stay as fresh as possible so that, like, when I actually do play Billy Bust Up when it comes out, oh boy, you know, you can get some genuine reactions out of me. Uh, so, 
yeah, and like I, I can't really say for sure about that one. And intentionally, I think I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> Just like, hey, how's it going? I need you to upgrade the the uh, the axe again. Just like, was it not good enough before? <laughs> No, no, it wasn't. Do it again, Forge Man. <laughs> anyway, let's head over and uh, grab some stuff on the beach. I don't have any crab pots or anything out here. Um, eh, my interest in doing that is very low. Oh, yeah, wasn't today, like, supposed to be a lucky day? Oh, what the... Hello. And that's a shame, because, like, I, again, I really wish I had some, um... Ah, I, want, I wanted to have some geodes. Might move my mouse real quick. There we go. Something was, like, distracting me over on my, uh, my monitor over here. I have something fun for you. Some kind of a fan thing. Look, look at this museum. We gotta fill this place up. Alright. Welcome to Techno Farm. <laughs> what if? I think that'd be funny. So you get onto a farm field and there it's just like, you know, rave and strobe lights and you know the cows are Like, can I? I don't think the water, like watering trees, does anything for those. Yeah, hey, buddy. <laughs> Just like, boop. That's your water dish. Farming. Hi, <laughs> hey, Florian. How you doing? Again. Can I get a techno farm? Next Stardew update, add techno farms. I don't know what the heck that would be, but please make it a thing. How much should I sell my little crappy computer? I found out it's mainly good for doing work on and not gaming. Could not tell you, I'd need to know the specs and how old we're talking here. Oh, <laughs> the Jeep placement was unintentional that time. <laughs> nah, I'll count it as 10. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll count that as intentional. Uh, I guess I'll keep that. Why not? Doing good. I guess I will sell all this stuff. I don't know. I need to be making money and, uh, you know... I make money so I can spend money so that I can make more money. Welcome to the grind. Um, I guess I could... Oh, right. I didn't grab the money for uh, the Sebastian. I suppose... So I could check the community center and see if there's anything I can do with that. Oh, yeah. I Okay, so when I get a pumpkin... I need to drop it into the fall crops bundle. I got it last year, but the battery doesn't really save. Wait, uh, save, but I made it work by deleting Hat in Time, another game I'm not going to say. Okay, but you could have just not even mentioned it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm not going to judge. 
too hard. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I never got the uh, the green bean this year. Oh well. Um, I don't know if it was if it was last year and if the laptop is like if it doesn't have a whole lot of power behind it. I don't know if I would sell it for very much. I think for most people, they're gonna look at that and just be like, "Well, why? Why should I get it?" I know for me, um, oh, I, I learned a long time ago that if you if you cheap out on certain things on a laptop, you're gonna be paying for it later in the form of frustration and also a lot of your time being used up, and it sucks. Earth Day's tomorrow. Hey, very nice. I remember there was one time um, I had a laptop quite a long time ago. And I wanted to kind of refurbish it with some brand new stuff. And I wanted to make it like more badass. So I went and I picked up a new hard drive for it. Like a hard drive that was much bigger. Like the original one that was in there was like 500 gigabytes or something. And then I got like a one terabyte or a two terabyte. I, I forget how much. Problem is, I, I didn't check this. And I, le I learned from that day forward. Uh, the hard drive that I got was a 5200 RPM drive. And to give you guys some perspective, uh, a standard hard drive, uh, like a hard disk drive for a computer, runs at about 7,200 RPM, not 5,200. And what that ends up doing is it ends up slowing down the performance of your computer substantially, because that is a massive bottleneck. Like, it doesn't matter how fast your CPU is. Doesn't really matter how, um, how quickly you can load things into memory. It doesn't really matter, like, you know what your graphics card is if your computer if it can't read the drive fast enough you're just going to end up with a whole lot of trouble also e <laughs> seed maker and quality fertilizer okay so i need to uh, i need to get to some places that have iridium yarny is here hello why oh i'm gonna win anyway so yeah um, I learned my lesson that day, and that is, like, know your specs when it comes to hardware. Because if you don't, you're going to end up spending your money on something that ends up sucking later on. Uh, yeah. And that laptop, it ran like crap. Iridium, have you tried Chernobyl? <laughs> Says Pierce. <laughs> Thank you, Pierce. Uh, all right, so today is, um, ha happy Halloween, everybody. Today is the Halloween activity. Oh, for God's sakes, these pumpkins have got to... Mm. Become large pumpkin! Why aren't you doing it? Gosh darn it. Wow, oh, the year went by so fast. I love Halloween. Who doesn't? I certainly do. I think I remember um, I was talking to my mom <laughs> about Halloween... And I was just like, man, I mean, just I, I am looking forward to the spooky season. The like, spooky season can be much longer if, uh, you know, if people would allow. Please make Halloween, like, you know, an entire two months, for God's sake. And my mom was just like, I mean, you're one to talk. You're one of those people that absolutely hates it when people celebrate Christmas anytime before December. Like, so why does Halloween need to have uh, more time? And I'm like, that is exactly why Halloween needs to have more time. Shut, that, that, that's why because you know Christmas comes in knocking on the door uh, like you know trying to take down Thanksgiving just being like hello it is the Christmas season please it's time for the season of giving and we're just like please, shut the no <laughs> stop it stay in your own lane stay in your own holiday like, you get an entire month to yourself and most holidays don't even get that they get like maybe two days tops get back get back into your little shell christmas i like christmas just like no go away so you know what on the opposite coin of that like if we're gonna have the longest ass christmases of all time at the very least you can give me spooky season for two months okay <laughs> we start celebrating spooky month in september god damn it that's my stance on it I see people celebrating Christmas in September. Yeah, exactly. No. Push that away. Uh, anyway. Where? Okay, so I have got 20 corn. That's, that's, 
more than enough. I also have a bunch of the broccoli, which people like less. Is the spooky butt? All right, we're gonna get some major riches from the corn. Still waiting on the pumpkins. We that those pumpkins have one more day. <laughs> one singular more day. And it better finish up. Hey, Kumu, how you doing? Do a Wario impression because uh, Wario is awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like the um, I like the Snap Cube version of that. Wario, I'm gonna win. Pretty good day today. Awesome. Still have my costume from last Halloween that I made myself and with my dad. What was the costume? I am curious. Very rarely have I, you know, gone and done, like, my own custom costume types of stuff. Okay, so they're currently setting up the town, so can't really do anything over there. But I can go this way and check the outskirts. You should go as Bitby. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, funny enough, like, I, I have thought about, like, how would one dress me up as bit uh and i think if i were to do something like that i would like to go the um the dj marshmallow route where it's just like i i wear a gigantic funny hat that has like dongly things on the top and then i would just like you know wear hoodie pants <laughs> you know properly colored colored stuff like if I ever made like convention appearances, I think that it'd be it'd be fun if I uh, if I did that. At least like I know that there are some VTubers out there that do like virtual appearances where, you know, they they put a screen out on a uh, on a convention floor and they go like, "Hey, look, so and so is here at the convention." And it's just like, no, no, they're not. The Cyclops villain from Little Big Planet. Um, I never played Little Big Planet, so I'm not entirely sure about that one. Uh, I used to hate scary stuff, but then I was like, uh, I'm older now, so I don't get scared. Long story short, gaslit myself into liking scary stuff. <laughs> ah, yes, that's, that's how you live your life. Constantly telling yourself you're wrong. I'm making joke, by the way. <laughs> How many people in the server I deal with? Yeah, no, I totally get that. Yoink. Cool. My favorite Halloween story happened when I was trick-or-treating way back when. This person who opened the door was a sweet old lady with a bunch of cookies. Her house was decorated like Christmas. Hmm. All right. And she wished us a Merry Christmas. We tried to tell her it was Halloween, but she insisted we were all wrong. <laughs> That's great. I, I feel like... Ugh. All right, there are a couple of different reasons why that could be happening. One, dementia, which I, you know, don't want to make too much of a joke about that. And uh, two, she's just, she's really into getting Christmas spirit and stuff. And maybe she, is she one of those people that like, you know, she sees Halloween as one of those, uh, you know, one, one, one of those, you know, it's like, oh no, it's, it's evil uh, evil holiday with you know ghouls and ghosts and and spooks and things and it's very unholy and oh you you guys should be all christian and whatnot which is funny because isn't like a big part of christian like that we stole a lot of things from the pagans <laughs> it's just like do you have anywhere any way or place to judge no no probably not Maybe plastic bowl, styrofoam balls, and skewers for the head and costumes a bit. I think I would definitely want to have some sort of like a weird like spring mechanism. You know, or like some sort of a, a wiggly thing. Like a dealy bopper. Don't tell those people about Saturnalia. Okay, well, wow, that's... I have no idea what that is. Have I just... Uh, there, am I opening up like a, a rabbit hole? 
Oh no. Mmm, styrofoam. Don't eat. Do not consume. It is not good for the stomach. Oh. G game? Game? I'm, I'm not moving up. Is, is doing it himself. Stop it. Hey. Hey. Click off. Click on. <laughs> 66k. Holy shit. That's a lot of twerps you have to take care of. <laughs> oh, like I said, probably a lot of them are 10. <clears throat> OG holiday that evolved into pagan Christmas. Basically, burn the biggest log you can find and get flat out drunk for days on end. I mean, that's a lot of people's weekend. <laughs> Straight up. Still not as delicious as silica gel. Oh, you know what's funny? Um, speaking of silica gel. Um, so, fun fact. Did you know that 3D printer filament should be kept in a dry... Uh, non-moist environment. That That is the thing. You probably should not uh, keep it in a moist environment. Because, I didn't know this, PLA actually um, has problems with, like, wearing down due to water, which is really interesting. On the one hand, that's cool because I'm like, oh, man. So, you know, that, that, that means that uh, PLA is probably a little bit safer to have sitting around or lying around because, like, oh, if it's soluble with water, then... I guess it'd be pretty easy to, uh, you know, clean or take care of. And, you know, it's, it's probably a little bit nicer than ABS or anything else that might be a little bit more toxic. On the other hand, <laughs> it kind of sucks that, like, you know, very fickle material. One that, you know, could potentially turn into complete shit if you um, don't keep it in the proper place in the proper way. Um so I'm still keeping a whole bunch of the bags that I have. Uh... Well, basically, these things came in like a, an airtight bag that has like a zipper compartment in it. Um, I am actively keeping those bags and also keeping the silica gel packets. And um, every time I'm done with one of those uh, rolls, I take it uh, off the unit and stuff it back in the bag with silica gel. Because, yeah, that's what the silica gel is for. It's it's designed to keep things sort of, like, relatively dry. So. <clears throat> and also, uh, Pierce has posted more thing here. It evolved into Pagan Christmas, where people would crown a commoner the Prince of Fools, and then they would march into rich people's houses, demanding food and riches from them, and if they didn't comply, things got ugly. This is also why Puritans in the U.S. banned Christmas. This has been your fun, weird history lesson for today. <laughs> Thank you, Pierce. I'm so informed. Imagine if the foghorn sound played every time that you saw something gross in your life. I think that would just enhance my life, honestly. Hello. Okay, I've already pet you today. My friend's mom wouldn't let us play Undertale because she thought it was satanic fr <sighs> I hate parents. Satanic. The default answer to anything that you just don't understand. Oh, and also, don't care to understand. How is Undertale Satanic? Well, like, don't you remember those news articles that were, um, uh, that were kind of circulating at one point of, like, this one, <laughs> this one gal who, like, I think it was a gal. Uh, her parents found that, they're, like, I don't know, I think I think it was like her desktop or something was like sort of a, a creepy realistic uh, skull of Sans or something like that. I, I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but like they found that and they thought it was like, you know, some sort of like a cult thing or a gang thing. And meanwhile, all of the other people who were watching were just like, My favorite accusation is when people say Doom is satanic. Like, oh yeah, right. I know exactly what you're about to say. Do you know what you do in the game? It's the most unsatanic game there is. <laughs> you literally run through the depths of hell and kill demons. How is that non-Christian? I mean, yeah, it's it's more 
violent than I think a lot of Christians would want. But yeah, you you kill, you 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 kill, to destroy the demons. Oh God, no! It's just it again, looking for any reason to be upset. Looking for the scapegoat. There's a hidden message if you play a specific song backwards and in mono. It just says Jesus loves you. <laughs> okay, that sounds like they were taunting. <laughs> Like, that genuinely sounds like, oh, we're satanic, eh? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, I'll show you how satanic we really are. And then, you know, shit post to the extreme. That sounds like something id Software would do, honestly. She saw Toriel and thought that satanic because she is a goat and she tried lecturing us about cults. I... When? I'm trying to remember what line... I played Undertale a lot. And I'm trying to remember what line it was that she talked about cults. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. The lead guy put it there because he knew people would go looking for satanic imagery in there. He thought it was hilarious. Yep. Good move, buddy. Uh, I'm never going to make jack-o'-lanterns, let's be real. Whatever. I don't care about much of this. I, I'm just gonna go through the um, the funny maze and go grab the the pumpkin at the end and call it a day. Mm. I think it's this way. When did when did Toriel talk about cults? <laughs> what? I'm trying to remember that part. Of it. I feel like your mom's just making stuff up. Zoinks! I remember Weird Al put a backwards message in one of his songs to parody the Satanic Panic, and it said, Satan eats cheese whiz. <laughs> I love Weird Al. Al's great. I love, I, I love him so much. I love that man. You got, Have you guys seen that one video from Weird Al? L a little trigger warning, uh, warning E, though. Um, it is a video of him jokingly sawing off his arm. <laughs> And the entire point of the video is, um, he was just, oh. Take the secret shortcut. You did not. No way. Oh, clever dogs. I can't take it back there, can I? No. Ah! <laughs> the mysterious floating orb. Ooh, I remember that one. But anyway, no, the the entire video of his was, um, it, it, it was like, real or cake? Real or cake? And he was, like, slicing into things. Like, he started off with, like, you know, a watermelon's, like, real! It's just, like, you know, a shoe. Or, actually, no, a cereal box. <laughs> real! It's like, my arm! <laughs> he starts cutting into it. And, like, I don't know who he got to do the effects, but, like, it started to gush, like, blood. Like, not accurately. It was very much, like, really over the top and, like, really gushing a lot. <laughs> it's just, like, real! <laughs> and then he cut into cake. And he was just, like, cake! <laughs> Weird Al, like, it, if you if you don't know Weird Al or if you've never seen anything from Weird Al, you owe it to yourself. He is he's fantastic. It's trending on YouTube, I know that. Yeah, just look up like Weird Al real or cake. My steel axe is ready! Whee! And this is the final day, and it looks like the po the pumpkins have decided that they're just not going to sprout. And it also appears that I'm too late for these. Darn. Well, there's always next year. Oh. Here's supposed to the game banana thing. <laughs> Shaggy and Ocarina of Time? What? Like, Zoinks! It's Ganondorf! <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> uh, I hate love it. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna clear out a bunch of these flowers here and uh, make room for these. My fr wait, what? My friend's mom lectured her, like, chill out, lady, we're not watching Has Been Hotel or anything. Well, I watch it, but I spend half the time just replaying the songs for some reason. Ugh, yeah, no. Again, satanic panic. It Did I just get rid of a bunch of the pumpkins? Damn it. Well, I kept some, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> brain why <laughs> distractions uh I, yeah i need to bring one pumpkin out to caroline and oh the axe right that's interesting i was watching um i was watching some live stream not too long ago from somebody who was talking about a lot of stuff related to panic and you know and, and stuff related to that and just you know people that freaking out over things that they just that you don't understand yeah and like i get it but at the exact same like it, it, it's a case of like rather than trying to look into something and rather than like trying to learn about it and learn and trying to well trying to get experience with it and trying to understand something it's a lot easier to just recoil and you know get upset and you know that that kind of thing and i think if people personally i think if people took a little bit more time to really absorb whatever it is that they're currently looking at and not look at things from just a surface level or at least like you know what, if you're going to have a judgment from surface level, at the very least, acknowledge the fact that you've pro you're have you probably not 100% right on whatever it is that you're currently, like, thinking about in terms of what is the thing I'm looking at. I wish I got to watch your Pizza Tower streams. They were interesting. Anyway, Jodas! Thank you for the ticket. <laughs> what has been hotel character would you say you are? Uh, that's hard to say because I really don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't really watch it. And I don't feel like I uh, really relate to a lot of what has been hotel is. So I couldn't say. How did you feel about fake Pepino? Um. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. This is the cutscene explaining the uh, the tickets. Ah, hello there, Bitby. I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. Haven't I already used this machine once? I, I swear I did. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a spirit of goodwill among the townsfolk. You included. It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. <sighs> My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. No, I, I just want to help. Yeah, I'm in for the prize. <laughs> no, let's make him happy. Why, well, is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. At any rate, keep checking the Help Wanted board in town. That's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Good luck out there. So do you get, like, you know, a special selection of tickets that you can't use yourself and you have to give out to other people? Anyway. Ow. I can't do anything with that. What the heck is this? <laughs> what is this iridium cup of coffee? Um, and also, is that like... Kind of looks like confetti or like party streamers. Is that a mystery box? <laughs> Fuck. 
Fake Pepino. Good God. What a nightmare. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, so let me see. What? Who was um? Caroline. Right. How you can do the perfect take in one take. That's a lie. <laughs> and you will find out about that real quick after the, um... Oh, also, can I... Holy shit, I can't go into your room. Um, well, hi, I have this thing. The pumpkin! There you go. Can I go into your room? Nope. Apparently, I have more of a relation with your mom than I do with you. Awkward. Yeah, go take a look at the pumpkin. Anyway, no, that's a lie. I cannot do takes perfectly in one shot. Um, I've done many, many, many recording sessions, and I have done many, many different takes for things. Uh, nobody does takes in one perfect shot, especially if the director is expecting something very specific. Um, and as an example for that, you're going to be able to see that next Tuesday. I'm going to go ahead and uh, advertise this again since we got a whole bunch of people in here now. Next Tuesday, we have got um, a thing going on. Well, not on this channel, but on a different one. Uh, Buddy Raccoon is doing a special thing. I'm going to pull it up on the stream here. It's a thing called Voice Acting Tune Up. And the entire point of it is that uh, Rocky will be acting as a voice director, and he will be directing a selection of VTubers that he has invited onto the show. And um, I think if this happens a recurring amount, he's going to be like, you know, rotating cast around and bringing in new old talents kind of stuff. Uh, for this, um, this, this flagship outage, he has invited me to be the voice of a few characters, uh, as well as um, YT Midna TP, who is more of a uh, Christian VTuber. I really hope I don't say anything terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna try to be as clean as possible as well, just because, you know, it's more of a family friendly type of stream, so yeah. Uh, and then we have Archie, who is, um, you know, uh, uh, underneath the wing of Raccoon and learning a whole bunch of things. Also, um, they sound a heck of a lot like another voice actor who uh, goes by the name of uh, Jean Aponte Muvio. Uh, and then Takahata101, who you might know from a bunch of Team Four Star um, creations, as well as he also runs the Weary 101, which is a, uh, a bar in hell. <laughs> so, say fuck, I did it. <laughs> I'm not saying it on the stream. I'm going to do everything I can to make, you know, I mean, I've been trying my best to, uh, you know, teach myself and tell myself, no, no, do, do not say, do not say the fuck word. Do not say the thing. Holy! <laughs> but anyway, yeah, again, that is going to be happening on um, the 23rd Tuesday at uh, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, my time, which is Central. And uh, hopefully, I will see a few of you there. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to definitely prove to y'all that no, I don't get everything in one take. Uh, you know, that, that ain't something that uh, I can guarantee 100%. I try my best. I, I try to have, you know, get my head into the game and, you know, know uh, the vibe of whatever it is that I'm currently uh, voicing. But I'm not perfect. Will I send a link in my Discord? Yep. Yeah, I will send a link to um, Rocky's uh, stream as he's setting up. Let's see. Should be interesting because um, with the way that it is set up, I I should be there, like, you know, basically in the flesh, so to speak. You know, it's not going to be like a, a voice call kind of thing. I, like, I will actually be there along with uh, a bunch of other people. And hopefully everybody's connections will be nice and solid. Knock on wood. Uh, also... I, I do have this one little nightmare in my head. Uh, right now, there are a bunch of people around me that are getting sick with this flu thing. I am praying to God that I don't get this flu thing before this, like, event happens. Because it would suck to have to, like... I, I really hope I don't have to, like, call them later. Like, if it turns out that I do get sick and have to be like, Guys, I hate to say this. I am baldy. Nice to... Stop it. 
get some help. <laughs> Just noticed that two people have conductor profile pictures. Yep. We are conductor brain here. I might have a chat with you guys. Hello. Did you know that my aunt loves farmer's lunch? You could really make her happy. Ah, hey, I'm getting stuff aside from... Fuck you, dude. Hello. I'm just having chats with everybody. Hello. I hope the turn of the season treats you well. Picnic! You genuinely sounded like him, which is horrifying. <laughs> it's not too hard to sound like Baldy. Let's be real. Oh, hello. Welcome to my school, you little shit. <laughs> I have, see, I, I have less um, interest in keeping that PG. Because, <laughs> you know, it's a horror freaking game, you know? Slightly different Squidward. Oh, please. I have no soul. I don't think I have a good... Like, I have an okay Squidward. Tortellini! <laughs> I think we're pretty much done here. Oh, wait. Shoot. I didn't get my axe. I don't think. Dang it. I was very distracted. That's okay. I don't necessarily need the axe right now. I just need it, like, you know... When I get up tomorrow. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick. Mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, I, I fudged that one up. I guess I'll be picking up my pickaxe later. He's fine. Again, didn't need it today. Conductor army attack! Howdy, hey. Oh. oh. I didn't know that would work. <laughs> Shoot. I love video games with extra polish. It can be an instrument if you believe it is. I remember I saw a video from Family Jewels. Um... <laughs> It was Megalovania, except played on mayonnaise. Uh, I don't even know if I want to explain. <laughs> anyway. Alright. So that's the end of the season. Look at all the stuff. What's the breakdown? Wow, pumpkins! And also, I mean, the fairy rose stuff is, uh, you know, nothing to sniff at either. And now we know that it can be an instrument. Yeah, but you have to work real hard to make it an instrument is the problem. Anyway, I got a ton of money. And I don't know what I'm going to put it towards. Winter. Yep, everything dead. Heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Thank you, Mayor. So, uh, yeah, prepare for this to be the uh, the entirety of the game for a little while here. Money. Hello. Okay, so. Uh, oh. Here, one thing I need to do. Saw a video where somebody made Billy Jean, but every single instrument is a door stopper. <laughs> I love the internet. <laughs> I absolutely love the internet. Because that is, that is such an internet move. When was there snow everywhere? <laughs> this game just kind of piled the snow on out of nowhere. Welcome to winter. Also, we're being... Hounded by ghouls.
Hello. I believe among your people it is customary to shake hands. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Please don't shake my head. <laughs> I'm just imagining like, oh god, I, so reference to Team Four Star thing. Please don't shake my arm. No. Just a little wraith humor. <laughs> what is that? It's from Stargate. Oh, interesting. Don't know if I've ever seen it. I mean, I know of Stargate, but... Let's see. So, how are you doing, Maple? I'm sad it's Sunday, because that means I have to go to work tomorrow. Vibes. Yeah. I agree. And I'm currently doodling. What you doodling? I am redesigning a old character of my, uh, one of my buddies. Oh, nice. Also, Nova says, I don't have COVID, I have the flu. Eh. I'm assuming that, like, you thought you had COVID, and then somebody went to the doctor recently, and you found out that they had the flu. So likely you have the flu. That's my guess. Your flu's going around. And, uh, be safe out there, people. If you can get a vaccine for it, get a vaccine for it. <laughs> Pink says, THE Maple Leaf? The Maple Leaf themselves? Oh my god, it's Bitty Kid! Meep. Meep, 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 meep. Yep, there he is. Anyway. I need to steal this axe from you. Thank you. Oh, God. Now, again, I'm praying to every single god and country on this planet that I don't end up getting sick before this, uh, you know, this uh, voice, like, thing happens. Oh, that's freaking cool. Tail hand. That's amazing. Also, the, the glasses have that extra little bubbly what's it on them. Uh, aside, aside from aesthetic, what is that for? Uh, like a little space server thing I'm on with uh, some of my partners and my other buddies of mine. Oh, nice. I meant like um, the the glasses. It's it's got like that extra third lens on it. What practical oh, use has, is that? He has three eyes. Oh yes. Oh nice. Interesting. Anyway, oh hey look, spam. Ban, get out. There we go. To be fair, the spam on uh, on Twitch is like 200 times. Oh, what? Everyone has winter outfits? What? Hello, Lewis. That's amazing. Oh, now I want to see everybody's winter outfits. Dang it! Hello. Ah, reading book. Who? Who else has a winter outfit? Celie says, "I like to imagine the tail throws heavy objects at people." Likely. Ah. <laughs> Everybody's all cozy. Abby, I want to see your jacket. What? What do you got on? Gus's sweater looks so cute. Yeah, right? Look at it. It's just a, a whole bunch of... Like, it looks like he has peepus on his shirt. There's little, little individual bits of peepus. Great charm. Uh, Akumu says, Winter is my favorite season, to be honest. You can make snowmen. Uh, I like bundling up. That's that's like... Yeah, I, I love, like that farm. I love the autumn. Mm-hmm. Well, we have escaped the autumn season in, in game. Oh, F Bay says, um, that happened to me this year. My whole family got sick at the same time, but only our dad got tested and he had the flu. Kind of hate that he was the reason I had to take off work and, uh, and whatnot, because I was during that really bad freeze uh, during the beginning of the year, and our McDonald's was the only store open during that. No, I'm not bitter. <laughs> Ew! You had to deal with McDonkeys? <laughs> Axolotl. Axolotl barks. 
Okay, you know what? Fuck you. You're going to space. What the heck? Hold on a moment. <laughs> Sam, that that beanie looks terrible on you. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I wish we had snow in Florida. I don't know. Sometimes I do wish that I was living in a place that had less snow. So, you know. Reminds me of this year when my whole family got sick during Christmas and New Year's. Oh, man. Oh, again, I am praying up, down, left, right that I don't have to deal with getting sick. Like, I, Specifically, the reason why I don't want to get sick is, again, I've got that whole, um... Oh, God. Wait. Yes. Y'all have jumped rope during the winter, right? This makes total sense. One, two, three, four... Ah, no, it messed up again. Ah, that's adorable. I eat ice cream during winter. Is that weird? I mean, I've had, like, milkshakes during winter, so no, I would say that's not weird. I could go for a milkshake right about now. Yeah, right. The less healthy, the better. <laughs> I think um, I was, um, oh God, who was it? Uh, on Twitter, there was somebody who was asking like, what do you like better, Nutella or peanut butter? And I'm sitting there like, mix them both, die sooner. <laughs> Just like, come on, that, that damn's chump numbers. <laughs> Just combine the two. Cut out the middleman. You shot me! Yes, Rodney, I shot you, and I said I was sorry. <laughs> oh, please! Ah, they're just tired of your butt snorkeling. <laughs> I think you talked about this before. What is that from? Stargate. Oh, okay. Freaking Star... All, so have the, you been all the audio Stargate, I'm playing... <laughs> all the audio I'm playing is from Stargate. <laughs> okay. Again, I'm, I'm assuming that you've, like, binged it or seen a whole bunch of it or something, right? Surprisingly not. Oh, really? How the heck do you um, have that many Stargate sound effects, then? <laughs> Is it, like, a friend and or what? Sony. Ah, of course. That makes sense. Um, so far I'm watching, uh... I think I'm at season two now? Of Stargate Atlantis. Ow. Dying. And this is where, like, this is where this audio came from, at least. I believe among your people nice. it is customary to shake hands. Just a little wraith humor. <laughs> <laughs> I like his voice. Yeah, his name's Todd. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> that is not a name I expected to come out of that face. Like, you know, that sound. So so context, uh, these creatures are called the Wraith, and they don't really have names, so, um... So I just had to come up with a name, and it's just like, Yeah, I, the I people know, on the ship Todd just came up crap, with a name. And then, and then it's like, Exactly! Mm, Todd! I like this name! It's like, I, I, no, I was, I was just making a joke. No, you will refer to me as Todd! <laughs> God, that reminds me... What the heck is this? Huh? Give me your oh. money. <laughs> Give me your money. That, God, that sounds so much like, um, uh, like a, an Orville type of scene, though. I don't know if you've ever seen the Orville. It sounds so familiar, but most likely not. Um, basically, uh, you know, um, shoot, who voices Peter Griffin? Seth MacFarlane, there we go. Um, Basically, Seth MacFarlane looked at, um, looked around and said, you know what? I want to have my own Star Trek. And then he went and he made his own Star Trek, which is funny because it's supposed to be kind of like a comedic parody of Star Trek with a lot of like the, you know, the beats and all that stuff of what you would expect from the show. But it's not just Star Trek, surprisingly. Like, a lot of people expected that was all it was going to be, just, oh, it's Seth MacFarlane doing his silly little parody stuff again. Is this just going to be an entire, like, family guy funny moment scene or something? No. 
No, like, not only is it, like, a really good Star Trek spoof, but, like, also, they do a really good job of just making a good show at, with a good set of characters that are likable and interesting and funny. It's freaking crazy. I, I, I'd recommend it. Like, if you're really into Star Trek and if you wanted a good, like, comedic sort of spin on it, he's, he's good. Uh, the Orville. Oh, wait. No, I know what you're talking about. Shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually remember this. Um, I do remember that one episode. I don't, I don't want any spoilers. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Fuck. But it, 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 uh, crap. But they had a daughter. I'm just going to say that. Oh, okay. By the way, also, um, wait, wait. Powder melon seeds? What? What is powder melon? I'm not supposed to be able to farm right now. What? <laughs> what is going on? Why? Powder melon. Powder melon. Anyway, you guys have been posting a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh yeah, we were talking about like shakes and stuff. Um. Epe says, I remember I'd get a frappe, which is basically a smoothie, during winter, and no one would bat an eye. But whenever I got a hot chocolate during summer, suddenly everyone was like, what? That's weird. Dude, enjoy your friend. <laughs> you can have a hot chocolate, you can have a shake, whenever the heck you want. That is, like, judgmental. <laughs> Pink, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pink clipped that one line that I said. Where I was just like, you know, some somebody on Twitter was like, "What would you like? What would you prefer? Would you like to have chalk, actually hazelnut spread or peanut butter?" And I'm like, "Why not both? Just combine both of them and die sooner." <laughs> I see no problem with this. Hey, Lois. Hey, Beta. <laughs> hey, Beta. What the heck was that? Okay, sure. Hey, hey, look! I'm Picasso! Frickin' weird. <laughs> so, Goddamn it, silly. Babies kick pregnant women all the time. But when I... <laughs> Suddenly I'm the <laughs> asshole. All right, well, time to break into the winter chest. Um, I don't think mahogany seed is specifically a winter thing, so... I'll drop this stuff. Actually, wait, is this where I keep... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> also, uh, Amp was talking about... Um... Here we go. Some other things here. Nova says I'm in your walls. <laughs> well, can you stop making so much racket? They're in the walls. They're in the... They're in the goddamn, goddamn walls! walls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I remember when I got... I, I got sick on my birthday once. That sucked. I was just I like... I remember I went to the hospital on my birthday once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you kind of one up me on that one. <laughs> yeah. Someone legit tried to call you via DMs. Yeah, that sounds like somebody that doesn't have uh, boundaries. Random user tried to call me. I just told the user to contact ModMail if they needed assistance. That is very dumb. I don't know. There, there's so many people out there that, like, they just don't understand boundaries. Just, I can't really parse that. And I don't know what it is. Like, I think it's just, like, the way people are raised or something in their brain. Someone tried to scam me in DMs today. Bit be made a post about it. Yep. And it's a classic scam. 
It's the one of, oh, sorry, I I reported your account. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's going to be deleted. Oh, we need to do something about it. Hey, uh, I know this one person who is like a moderator on the site, and they can help keep your account from being deleted. It's like, shut up. <laughs> oh, God, that is not a thing. Again. That is not a freaking thing. Oh, hello. Um, oh, Robin. A wood chipper. You can use it to break hardwood into several pieces of regular wood. I know wood can be hard to come by in the winter, so if your supply gets low, consider picking one. I don't need extra wood. Wheelie wants me to catch him a squid. I think squid only happens at night. So, I don't know. I don't trust things like that. As you shouldn't. Do not trust, you know, the, the silly things like that. Man, I mean, I, again, I posted it over in the Discord and uh, I've given like information for what you should and should not do. But you know what? Uh, since I'm live here, um, let me go ahead and give you like the, some of you guys are not in the Discord. So I think I should, uh, I should probably say this. But before I do though, maybe you want to say something? Sorry, I'm also doodling, so I have to click alt when editing stuff. Oh, heck sorry. Yeah. By the way, um, I because Clip Studio has um, done like a thing where they're basically abandoning Clip Studio and moving over to a different version of Clip Studio. Um, I I have decided I'm moving away from that, and I have picked up Krita to see if I'd be interested in drawing uh, drawing in that more. Oh, than I tried Clip to do that before. I'm curious to see if it would be a little bit more like, I don't know. Possibly. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. Let me just say, like, for that particular scam, again, the entire point of it is they're trying to get you to think that, like, oh, God, this is time sensitive. I'd better go and get some help. And then they helpfully say, hey, my friend works at this place. And you can ask them to help, which they don't. And so they they do one of two things. They either send you directly to somebody's DMs, uh, or they give you an invite link to a particular Discord server. And then from there, they like basically try and get you to fill out like, well, not fill out. They, they try and have you authenticate your account through their server. And they give you like a fake Discord uh, login pop in. And then you type in your password and then bada bing bada boom your account is gone um as well as also there's a lot of other ways that maybe they could also steal your identity maybe they'll end up asking you for a credit card who knows they, these scams do all sorts of random things if they think they can get away with them so for the record and i i i posted this out on the previous time this has uh, been brought up and this time but yeah you should always be cautious. I'm reading these like, you know, word for word. You should always be cautious with anyone sending you links at any time. Like, even if it's your friends. Especially if they're trying to, like, rush you to click on it. You know? Like, if it's a link that you cannot recognize, either, like, a YouTube link or a Twitter link or anything of that sort, y'all probably should not um, do any of that. Stuff. Even then, <laughs> like, sometimes links can be screwed with. So be cautious. Um, second, Discord never asks you to send them your login details through direct messages. Don't do it. They they have your login details. I, there are probably many other ways they could verify you aside from that. All right. Um, Discord does not have, like, dedicated agents that are working one-on-one -on -one with users to resolve issues through DMs. Go make an email ticket, Okay. <laughs> That's, that's not how they work. Um, Discord will not ask you to confirm your identity with your credit or your debit card. Again, that is a money thing. They want to take your money. Um, and think about this. This is like a good way to think about it. If Discord actually had a legitimate reason to suspect that your account is fraudulent in the first place, there's a good chance that they'll probably just delete it. Like either like, you know, they'll, they'll shut it down you know, put it in sleep mode or like they will like delete it entirely full stop um and there's a good chance that like you know you're not gonna have like a, a 
small amount of time to be able to get in there and stop them before they delete it. No, they're just going to delete it outright, okay? You're not going to have any time if you're actually in a situation like that. Um, and the second thing also, people don't just have their accounts immediately deleted the first time that they get, like, reported for something. Like, that's not a thing. Like, at the most, you sh could probably expect that they probably wait for, like, three or four reports before they finally do something. Because false flags are a thing. So, yeah, if somebody accidentally reported your account, you'll be fine. All right? Don't worry about it. Um, if you have fallen for something like this, which, unfortunately, that does happen, there are some things that you should probably do. Um, one... Numero uno, just stop talking to the scammers. Like, don't ask, don't beg for your account back. Don't taunt them. Don't send them any messages. Don't try to work things out. They don't care, and it's not going to help you out. Um, two, don't pay them. Like, if they say, like, oh, we have your account, pay us a little bit of money, and maybe we'll hand it back. Why would they ever hand your account back? <laughs> like, that they're literally scamming you. Do you think there's, like... There's an honor amongst thieves. No, there isn't. Okay. Um, scan your computer for viruses because d depending on whether or not they told you to like go to a specific link, um, there is a chance that maybe they've implanted something on your system that's monitoring you or skimming information off of you. Uh, you're going to want to get that cleaned up real quick before you try and do anything. Um, I would recommend like maybe looking into having antivirus software if you're really concerned, though I will say that Windows is pretty good when it comes to virus protection on its own. Um, I don't know. That's It's on a case-by-case -case basis, personally. Um, but once you're sure that your computer is safe and secure, change all of your passwords. Every single one. Because you don't know what's been compromised and what hasn't. Um, I recommend having individual passwords for each thing that you have like for each account you have make it a different distinct passwords with plenty of different random letters numbers and symbols if you make your password all one single thing for every single one of your accounts if one of your accounts is breached all of your accounts is breached it's just safer to keep them all separate and all like mulched up so that they're not easily recognizable um next up you should probably turn on two-factor authentication for any accounts that you hold very dear uh, if they give you the option. So that's something like email verification, uh, text message verification. They're, those aren't very secure, but there are options. You can also use like an authenticator app like Google Authenticator or uh, something very similar. Um, there's also like certain websites that allow you to use like fingerprint login, stuff like that. Uh, that can be a, a secure thing as well. Uh, and then uh, th another thing that you can do is, and this is your best option to possibly get your account back, get in contact with Discord directly and let them know that this has happened. Um, and you can either do that by filling out a support ticket yourself on their website, which you might not be able to do if you don't have access to your account. Um, but you can get in contact with like a friend and they can send a message to Discord on their behalf. If you, um, you know, if, if that is helpful. But uh, yeah, there are things that you can do in this circumstance. But the number one thing that you can do to try and prevent this is just recognize when somebody is being a scammer. And funny enough, like <laughs> when when you learn all of like the the, the the when you learn the steps that they take, you know the the little things they do to try and trick people, like the little mind games, it gets easier to uh, be able to recognize them. You know, like you can you can kind of pick them out of a, of a group real easy and real quickly. It comes with experience, honestly. Um, yes, that is what I uh, would personally recommend. I love to go on VR chat and act as Baldy to see what people do. I'm sure most people run in fear. <laughs> Let's be fair. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, we got some Nyakuza music going on. Hi, I'm Baldy. Nice to meet you. Honk, honk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like we... Nyakuza music slaps. Indeed. 
No, it's like we got like... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. I came here because I have an anchor I need to drop off. This is the weirdest sentence I could be saying right about now. Just like... Say, uh huh? <laughs> Just like... Hello! I would like to drop off an entire ship anchor, please. Also, wait a minute. Exactly. Just break the floorboards. You need to look up Pizza Tower the Kiryu update on YouTube. <laughs> Pierce says I love that sound effect. It works for so many things. Oh, look at this little bundle of joy. Mom won't let me have any more gummies today. I mean, I don't know if it's... I'm, I'm assuming it's probably vitamin gummies. I hope to God she didn't accidentally, like, you know, mix up the melatonin gummies with the vitamin gummies. Because otherwise you're going to be sleeping in the snow, buddy. What the hell is Crocus? I was going to say. What? What is a Crocus? I have never heard of such a thing. Don't Game, you're making it. stuff up. Let's see here. Thought I've heard of Crocus before it says pink. I have never. I don't know. Chocolate banana cake is finally done cooking. Well, I'm sorry. Explain. <laughs> what? You have my attention. Are you going to share with the class? Yes. Please. Also, um, bus repair. Ignore me. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's winter. We're going to need something to do. And it probably won't have anything to do with the winter season. So let's take a trip out to the desert. Fun fact, the noise is inside your walls. Ah, oh, look at that flannel. Oh, I really wish that there um, was even a chance that there would be a new Night in the Woods sequel or anything similar to it. Ugh, so tragic. I don't like have night, night in the woods, as in like with May and everything. Yeah. Hold on. What? What are you doing? You're giving me a heckin' concern. I wish we'd get a new Knights into Dream game or new Clona game. That would be nice. No. No. What the heck's a clona? Oh, dang it. I forgot to mute that. But thanks for the message. That was my, uh, my badoop. Oh. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I I've heard of Revenant Hill. And I am excited because that's got a lot of the, uh, the team from Night in the Woods that's working on it. Um, I will say, like, the main problem is that it's not going to be entirely the uh, the entire staff from Knife in the Woods. Sorry, Knife in the Woods. Sorry, there was knife fights. That's all I was thinking about. Anyway, um, no, one of the people that worked on Night in the Woods, unfortunately, um, passed away. Yeah, I heard about that. Due to very unfortunate circumstances. Um... And so, basically, 
there's no real realistic way they could bring back the series in the way that it was. I mean, I guess if they if they wanted to, I suppose they could try. I just feel like would it be the same? Could it be the same? I'm not sure. I do appreciate that, like, yeah, the, the studio that was involved with it is uh, definitely moving on to making new stuff. I do get a vibe that it's going to be different, though. It is funny that they, they <laughs> for one of their mascot characters, it is literally, like, <laughs> a black cat that looks like May. <laughs> Except it's, like, actual cat. What I see is a total trash mammal. Yes. <laughs> A complete trash mammal. See, now we just need to, like, we need to have a circumstance where this cat and an alligator get together. <laughs> I think that would make me happy. There yes. All right. Okay. Have I... Uh, speaking of cats, have I talked with the cat... There we go. And now I'm going to pour water into their bowl and it's probably going to freeze over because, again, winter. Almonds? Almonds in the cake? Shoot! Chocolate, banana, almond. That is a winning combination right there. I'm hungry. Hungry? Lingcot? What is a lingcot frenzy? What? <laughs> huh? Hold up. Okay, how long does that last? Is, does it last just as long as the train? Because if that's the case, I'm probably not going to care ever. Pay Clona 1 and 2 on stream, please. I'll think about it. I must see this. Okay, we're in the mountains, I think. Right? I don't see anything weird going- What the hell is that? Fish! Oh, right. I need to be good at fishing. <laughs> Dang it. Speaking of fish, can I show you? Can I do you me the sticker that I absolutely love now? Just from what I sketched out of shits and giggles. Sure. So, why did they add a Lincod frenzy into this game? Is it because, like, it was just way too hard to get them before? And so they're like, you know what? Sure. Have all the Lincod in the world! <laughs> I, I'll be lucky if I get one, honestly. Am I still working with the uh, old rod? I think so. Oh my god! Stay put, you stupid... Ah. Damn it! Stop it! I give up! <laughs> I will never catch a Lincod with this rod. Well, now we know what that is. <laughs> I just love the idea of, like, that was something that we needed to have, like, announced over the radio. Just like, hear ye, hear ye! There is a Lincod frenzy in the mountains! How's their fish when it's winter? Have you ever heard of ice fishing? <laughs> Do you know what that means? fish anyway okay so you have sent me a sticker what the heck it... <laughs> munch they eat probably shrimp no she's eating gravel <laughs> uh, I mean I, I literally named the stream today mm, topsoil so you know <laughs> Uh, the, among like-minded people, I think. 
Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go to sleep. I need to wait for the bus to be available. And then we're going to go to the, uh, the mines. We're going to have fun. Mmm, <laughs> foam footballs. Mmm, dodgeball flavor. I do love it. Like, when I was growing up, we didn't have the, the rubber dodgeballs. We had, like, the, the really, like, floofy ones. The ones that were made out of, uh, you know. Basically, like, this, this squishy material. Which is funny, because, like, technically, if, if you, like, if you throw that thing at mock speed, you can still hurt somebody with it. Just not as harshly as, like, a dodgeball. Okay. Grab the pumpkin stuff. Also, another funny thing. I love the fact that, like, when, uh, when the bus gets repaired, it's like Pam suddenly has, like, a psychic attunement to the bus and like Pam's just like oh wait what do I sense I feel the bus is back <laughs> the bus is back in business must drive <laughs> Peter a the boss is here a halibut frenzy has begun on the beach alright also I had finished the thing Oh. Peter the horse. Hey, very nice. So I'm trying to remember if halibut is any easier to catch. If the answer is no. I'm not hanging around for too long. Please tell me it's in, like, a place that I can actually get to. Do I think any I would play... Oh, would I play any of the demos for Billy Bust Up on stream? Probably not any of the demos, no. Dang it! You know what? I wanted to go to the, you know, I wanted to go to the the uh, the desert today anyway, so screw it. Yeah, no, I probably won't um, do any of the demos for Billy Bust Up just because, again, I'd like to be nice and refreshed, and like, oh, screw you, that's it, freaking. All right, um, yeah, I don't want to uh, be spoiled too much by a whole bunch of the things in the game, though. I have been told, like, or, well, okay, I have not personally been told, but I I follow the devs on um, on social media. And one of the things that has been brought up a couple of times by them is that if you think that you're going to get spoiled by Billy Bust Up by following any of the information that they are giving, you're not. Like, Billy Bust Up is... Uh... Give me a second. Please return when a bus driver is present. Where's Pam? Where's Pam? Okay, there you are. Jeez. What's my favorite Pizza Tower song? I hate to say it's it's pizza time because that's such an obvious answer. It kind of is, though. It's just... It's so great. <laughs> I love it. I mean, all the music in Pizza Tower slaps. There's just something so frantic about that song. I I like me some video game music that is just super frantic and like terrifying. All right, Pam, take me to the desert. Any games that I'd like to play in the future? Tons. Keeping that a little bit secret for now, just because you know I'd, I'd like them to be a little bit of a surprise. Unexpectedly, two. Tubular Trash Zone and Thousand March. Oh, God. Right? Yeah. Expectancy 2. I agree. Uh, on a same vein of, like, if not even more loony um, than it's pizza time, Expectancy 2 is just 
so out of left field and like we're just, just like what is the, this uh, sample who's the old one oh all right oh wow that's a heck of a glow up right there I made that back in 2019. Mm -hmm. It looks like 2019 era maple. What is way, huh? Qu <laughs> question mark. Cool. I guess I gotta go into here first. All right. Well, pray for I me. I can't see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Hatsune Miku. I thought that was possible. Hey, never mind. What the? Yeah, okay. That's a Lizard. Mummy. Lizard. Die. Miku is one of my idols. Hey, how about that? The good news is that Hatsune Miku will never, um, you know, will never fall into like a crazed drug trip. Unlike other pop stars. So, you know, it's kind of a surefire choice. Have you heard the noise update music? Worldwide noise is amazing. Um, yeah, I've heard, uh, I've heard the music from the, uh, the noise update. I think my, one of my favorite ones in that is, um, what, what is it? We need a noise or something. And I love that because it's literally just sort of like, <laughs> it's lampooning, um, you know, I need a hero. Which nice. vibes, vibes wise, that is perfect for what they were going for. <laughs> oh, I need a noise. That's what it's called. So I just realized something because I am watching this room as well with the little hat you have. It's Bidby, but it's Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. I'm wearing a stupid fedora. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the ladder can show up at any time now. I'm using up like all of my energy just to break rocks. There, frig. I'm looking for iridium. I'm going to need that for the farm for next year. <laughs> I love how it randomly sounds like Daft Pony. Pink. Punk! <laughs> it's okay. Spelling sucks. Miku, Miku, you can call me Miku. Oh, hey, look, a bomb. Da 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 da. Dang! How much crap did they expect me to. Oh, I'm gonna need to upgrade this pick. Good god. Chachi. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Peppermint Strikes. Wait, Peppermint Did Strikes is a really him? good song. Right. What is the luck today, anyway? That sounded like fucking Donald Duck. <laughs> exactly. That was R2 D2 for a second. Wow! Sorry, I got a terrible R2 D2. Roger, Roger. Was that R2 D2? 
Is that no, you're playing that... droid sound effects? <laughs> no, those are the Rogers oh. from the Clone Wars. No, no, no. I mean, I, I know Roger Roger, but I like, was that R2-D2 before, I mean? No. Okay. It's like, no, just remember what God <laughs> Ah, gotcha. No bombs. Okay. I can do an R2-D2 impression says pink. Hold it. Droids, blast them. I said hold it. Ah! <laughs> okay, now I just want to see a parody. Like, Star Wars, except it's all metal pipe. Oh, dear. Yikes. Trouble! Give me your money. <laughs> That's lucky. Ah! Bad! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Bad bay. <laughs> one! One! Someone found you unconscious and battered. Bisexual. I didn't know that. By the way, I'm bisexual. <laughs> I lost. Oh, good. They tell you. Oh, I tell. They tell you what you lost. Thank you. Quartz, coal, and gold. Okay. Dang it. Are you guys oh, yeah. going trick or treating? Are you guys going trick or treating? <laughs> Yippee, the cake Get is cooled off. Pink says, do you have a sound clip of, uh, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder? <laughs> no. I do not know. <laughs> but boy, wouldn't that be funny. Oh, God, what chest do I even put the desert stuff in. Um, I guess I'll just make another one. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, no. What? So I found some news sent on the new server. Um, that you're on the you're also on the server. Um, uh. I liked it! <laughs> uh, kinda running out of colors. I guess I'll go with that color. I don't know. Freaking. Jesus. Some of the other sound effects are bad. Here, let me drop this off. And now I will pass out. Calling this day a failure. And sleeping it off. So what's the fortune teller say? Wow, terrible luck. Understood. Nice set up. I know, my luck is awful. Living off the land, and what's going on outside? Ooh, all right. I see you've entered the skull cavern. Well done, Mr. Quiwi. Caroline just sent me a parsnip for some reason. Thanks, I suppose. Huh? Huh? No question. More powder melon seeds. Interesting. Um, I think with this. Freaking sound. What is this? Hold on. Jack be nimble, Jack be thick book. Gain one defense. Jack be what? Ah. You heard me. 
Whoa. It's spelled T H I C K. So I think we're safe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Anyways. Uh, as much as I want to keep that book. Kind of feeling like finishing off uh, the Stardew for tonight. <laughs> Where are the sound clips coming from? I just got here. That's Mapley, and uh, Mapley is just being Mapley. <laughs> here, let me uh, move over here. <laughs> Where's my soundboard? Hold on a second. Bit gremlin. They'll love that one. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. One of the fun things about my streams, I record all like the raw stuff with the streams in like their own individual audio files. So like, uh, if I ever wanted to, I could clip anything I say in like raw audio recording form <laughs> and just make it a sound oh, clip. Beep, 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 beep. So if I say something dumb enough, beep, 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 beep. I can do the thing. <laughs> Burger? <laughs> I gotta have more. I gotta have more. <laughs> Cat cry. Nerd. Nerd. Welcome. Welcome to the underground. Uh, oh god, I found the Bind Sauce community server stuff. Oh no. Alright, which ones are not cursed? I mean, they're all gonna be cursed, but which ones are the ones that aren't, you know? Oh, Pink says, Hello, human! It is I, Wallowy! <laughs> oh my god, it's a classic. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> Skeleton. Oh, damn it. What? Stop. <laughs> Meme is dead. Go away. I hope it's dead, for God's sakes. I think the only people that even, like, reference Skibbity stuff at this point are either, like, the person who originally made it and, like, Probably like you know the um, sweatshop animation stuff, like on YouTube. Oh, and also like you know fake mobile games. Your turn. Ah! <laughs> that kid is like I feel like that kid is me incarnate. Good lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. I love that. Bruh. Oh no, the bear is cursed. <laughs> hey! This motherfucker got them fake keys! <laughs> I gotta get out of here! <laughs> love that freaking clip. Oh, Jesus. There was this level on Little Big Planet called, like, Best Mortal Kombat Level Ever or something. They put you and your friends in these janky mechs while Sexy and I Know It played in the background in quality that sounds worse than a potato. Oh, my God. Amazing. That, God, that is, an, that is a specific time in, like, space. That song. I remember I used to play a lot of little big planet and i remember there was this uh, really popular one when he had to run away from a shark <laughs> oh that sounds fun kind of man all right so now i'm just thinking about like fantokia's boss fight is that what a house looks like oh my god <laughs> what it 
Oh, you know what? My shadow is <laughs> me, the devil. It's me, the devil. You know what's really infuriating? I, I was looking into this. Um, you can only upload like five second clips up to Discord. Give me a second. Oh. Now, there was an exploit um, a little while back, but unfortunately they patched that out. So, yeah, now you can only upload um, five second clips, which. Are you is, sure? Are you. <laughs> I mean. I think. Yeah, but I mean, that would. That one's been uploaded for a while, right? Yeah, and I think it's a glitch, but it's freaking amazing. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think at a certain point in time, there was a window where you could upload video or the audio longer than um, five seconds. I, they patched it. I've looked into this. Trust me, cannot find a single thing that's uh, of people talking about how you could get around it again. So, uh, mm -hmm. and that's a shame. Because I have one clip that I desperately want to add to, like, my soundboards. Yeah, you probably didn't hear that, Maple. Cerveza Crystal. Oh. Uh. I want it so Any bad! Last words, Robotnik? I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> The Cerveza Crystal clip only works if you hear it in its entirety. That full eight seconds, you need it. And it's only eight seconds. Why is eight seconds too much, Discord? Why is it too much? Problem is, I lost my balls. Lost They're my stuck balls. all over the place. Sus. <laughs> what has this stream become? I'm fine with it. Seely says, I miss my wife, Tails. I miss her a lot. I'll be back. <laughs> I, I have that audio, but it's very quiet. I'm sad about it. Ah, that's a shame. I miss my wife, Tails. <laughs> I miss her a lot. I'm SpongeBob. It's Lava Booker. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is in here. There's a button that says fart on it. Yes. What? <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh -uh. Nah. <laughs> uh, what else we got in this thing? What did I come back to? Chaos! Got to wait for higher mod actually. to help me because what does it mean there's when a it says launch the train. Uh, a consensus that wasn't reached. That's fair. I don't know what this is. Of course. Why? Why is it? It's always part with Weaver. Freaking Christ. Got a quick question for you, actually. What does it mean when it says launch the train? Uh, Frickin' Christ. Among us. Oh, edit nutty soundboard. Holy shit. Yeah, that should. Oh, there should be a thing. You can't play multiple sound effects though on your end, right? Among us. Hold on a second. It was lie. Oh, maybe you can. Actually, wait. No, you can. if somebody's if somebody's really talented and can like layer those together like on the fly. Holy shit. Oh, that'd be great. Have you seen the video that um, a train painted like I Peter Griffin and it says, Hey, Lois. Yeah, I heard that. Hey, Lois. What? And then there's a really fucking loud train horn. <laughs> no, but I could imagine it. And I think that's all that matters. Um. Bruh. Yes. Amazing. 
Uh, there's one that says incredibly loud oh intro God, buzzer. Kill yourself. I don't think I want to press the extremely loud incorrect buzzer because I'm worried. Oh. I mean, I don't want to blow people's ears out. That they're already being blown out as much as a uh, you know right now. So. Like, eh. Anyway. I have this. We love casting spells. We love casting spells. Akumu says, I got headphones on. So, yeah, I'm going to try not to press that. Stretch. I don't have too much else that I need to do for this stream. And also, um, I've got some planning I need to do for uh, the... You know the, the collab that I'm going to be doing on Raccoon's channel sometime pretty soon, so I might be best to just sort of like simmer down for now. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not playing the thing. I'm all out of <laughs> I was wondering if that was that one. Was... <laughs> I'm all out of man. <laughs> I've seen that video. It's freaking scary. Anyway, um. Yeah, I think we're going to finish up for the stream tonight. And I'm going to unplug all of my tracks things. Here. Oh, man. How am I going to make this uh, setup work inside of the vocal booth? Jesus. That's going to be tough. Here, use this. Oh, God. What is that a re a reference to? I don't know why, but my, my brain immediately jumped to um, that one Germa clip. It's like, hey, you missed that one. Try another! And he just keeps on. He can't shoot the bottle. <laughs> you missed that one. Try another. <laughs> Hi, Pepino. Sorry I couldn't uh, be here that much. No pro. Hey, don't worry about it. He's fine. You were here even for a tiny amount of time, and that's enough to make me happy. Like, holy crap, you're you're putting some time. Here. You're putting some time towards like watching this silly nonsense. I was kind of hoping for a sound effect there, but <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on. I'm going to kill you. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then kill you again. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, right. You, you, you decided to, like, watch that. This was a choice today. All right. So, um, again. Holy moly. Holy moly. Another reminder for uh, the itinerary for the next week. Now, first of all, again, on Tuesday, on the, um, yeah, on Tuesday, September 23rd at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time, I am going to be uh, on Raccoon Tunes channel. And uh, g give me a second. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and just like put it on the screen on the, uh, there's a sloppy, but bada bing, bada boom. There you go. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be on Raccoon's uh, server. No, not server. His freaking stream. There we go. I'm going to be on his stream, and uh, he's going to be doing voice acting tune up, which is him voice directing um, a, a sequence of uh, the show Grossology, which is going to be really fun. Uh, so, yeah, c come on and uh, join in and watch us just stumble over lines and try and deliver a good performance for Raccoon on Tuesday. Now, aside from that, the next uh, planned streams that I got coming up here on Wednesday, I will be playing some more Splinter Cell. We're getting into the DLC, which um, we'll see whether or not that was any good. I don't remember if it was. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, but then, uh, on Saturday, I am planning on starting up playing Undertale Yellow, because I have not What's tried there? that yet, and have not seen uh, much of Undertale Yellow. Uh, intentionally i'm trying to avoid it as much as possible so i can be like surprised because that's kind of the entire point of undertale um so yeah that's happening then and then sunday i will probably be doing some more crop related things unless i can think of some other random you know thing about what's it to do akumu says i'm in well heck yeah man gotta deal with shit gotta fly now thanks for coming in Amp. and hey thanks everybody else for coming in as well uh, any parting notes maple I sure hope the water doesn't make the spring locks go up. Oh! 
Uh, what was that like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing? What the heck was that? The animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. Okay, there, there's, and and now she's gone. <laughs> uh, there is it. Five Nights at Freddy's, thing. and indeed make the spring locks go off. Amazing. Anyways. I'm going to go this way. See you later, everybody. Good night.